Sup guys, Hot Noob here, and I've run into a little thing that you guys should probably know about, which is uh, importing uh, Java libraries into your Android project. So already existing Java, libra Java libraries. And uh, this can be pretty handy at times. So um, the library in this example that we're going to be importing is Apache's Commons IO library. If you guys want it, like, because you might like the, f the functions, it's... Um, uh, where can you get it at? She, oh, right here. So, here is the link for it. So, comments at apache.org slash blah blah blah. Just go, probably just go comments at apache.org and, yeah, navigate your way to it. Uh, whatever, you guys have the video. You can pause and whatnot. Anywho. Um, the reason for adding this library is just for a little function, and um, let me move down to it uh, that I want to use here, which is basically it turns a, a stream into a string, and that saves a lot of effort, a lot of processing, um, while makes it a little more efficient and a hell of a lot easier to use. It's a pretty nice utility. So, um, what we want to do is we want to um, add this to the library folder. So uh, under apps you go to libs and then it doesn't work to drag and drop so what you do is you just copy and control V when you're on the libs folder there and press OK. Next, because you know it's Java or I don't know everything related to Java is stupid, complex, you gotta go to the build.gradle thing and then go compile files. Okay, oops, come back here. And put in your library. So the path to it. So it'd be libs, um, commons, io 2.4 dot jar. And if you say you had another lib, you just do common comma and just put in the path again like so. Um, just so I make sure I have the right file name. I'm just going to click rename and then paste it. Okay, just like so. And next you need to open up command prompt. Um, this one here and you want to navigate to there you go, your path your project path which is at the top right there and if you actually open it up in uh, Explorer you'll see that there's this little thing called Gradle W so you just do Gradle W and clean and it will do its little thing blah and that should remove any errors that you'll be getting if you don't do that there we go run app And it's generating crap. Okay. And it compiled successfully. And it goes straight to my Android device. That's pretty much it. Um, I know, pretty short video. I don't have too much to show. Uh, could do HTTP requests and maybe in the next video because that's pretty much exactly what I've been working on. So yeah, maybe we'll do that. I'll pause this and show you guys how to do uh, HTTP requests because that is fairly important and it's not very explained well with the new API system. Okay. 